people that do mall. Stay tuned for the inside. It's oh, oh, other than that, can't. All right, welcome back, y'all. So, uh, let me get this on. I don't know if y'all can hear me. Today's video is gonna be all about the Hitachi, Hitachi 120. Did y'all see? That's the 120 right there. Oop, hold on. Right there. See it? Right there. All right, so let's give it a walk around real quick. So, so y'all can see. That's what it is. You know, you got the back of the camera up here. Again. Inside the whole mine. So y'all see the whole bucket. So y'all can see it all, you know. And then we're gonna go ahead and get inside. Stay tuned for the inside. So basically this bucket right here is like two yard bucket. It's a two yard bucket and then we got a Volvo. That's just a little bit bigger than this one. It's a two and a half yard. And then we got the little one as you see in my other video. That's a one and a half. And then we got the two little skitties. Those are just, I think one yard buckets or half yard buckets. I had to find out. But uh, here, stay tuned for the inside detour. All right guys, as I'm pulling up, so, I don't know about these doors. You see how this door swings open and close? So it latches. That's pretty cool, you see this? It latches right here. Here's the latch. So basically, it just goes. Just like that, yeah, it latch. So now, let's go ahead and climb up in here. Ready? All right, guys. Now we're in here. Give you the whole view of the overlay up. So I'm gonna be explaining all these buttons to the best of my knowledge. Now these people don't sponsor me. These people don't do none of that. Just so y'all know. Uh, let me go ahead and pause it for a second. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into this little tutorial. You know what I mean? This tutorial. So first, we're gonna start by closing this door. See how you can't pull it close? It won't close. So what you gotta do is you gotta come in here, you see this lever? You gotta push this lever down, push that down. That releases out there where I showed you guys, and then you just go ahead and close the door. Now the cool thing about this front loader, hey, it comes with locks. A lot of men I go in don't be having this. So this is what I like. Woo! Go ahead and see. So if you're out here pawing snow, you know, when you're out here plowing snow at nighttime, that stuff does be getting hectic a lot. So, because we go into not the nicest neighborhoods. So when we're in those neighborhoods, me as a zone supervisor, I'd be worrying about my my powers. And that's one of the cool features I ain't gotta worry about. One, you're in a big old front loader. And two, you have to lock the door. Because, hey, at three o'clock in the morning, you shouldn't be talking to nobody but plow on the lot. You get what I'm trying to say? So, anybody come approaching you, you obviously, hey, lock the door. Go on about your business. Stay the hell away from me. I'll stay away from you. All right, so let's get back into this beside the point. So anyways, like I said, we got a light up in here that comes on and off. Like this for the door. This is off. But you can leave this like this on the door open. The light comes on and off. You know what I mean? For example, see how it opens? Yeah. Or you can make it to where it stays off constantly. So when you open the door, the light stays off. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, what else do we need in here? Um, obviously, these. That's how you're going to clamp both your windows. This comes down on your door. 
Alright, uh, so you got your radio. I know this is your heater. So it's a basically, basic model here, you know. Uh, you got your defrost. That's your modes. Turn it on. See how it's changing. Uh, this is the turn it up, turn it down. Um, same thing with your temperature. You can put it on auto. It takes care of it from there. This is your AC. This turns it off. Uh, it's got a regular horn. Beep, 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 beep. You know, beep, beep. Um, that's how you go forward. Your left. I mean, your front's for forward. Neutral. Reverse. The cool thing about this, which we'll go ahead and get into that in a minute, I'll tell you what I think is cool, especially when you're over here and you're trying to scoop. You know, when you're scooping with that bucket out there, and then you got to deal with this, and then you got to deal with this, and then trying to deal with this. Well, there's the feature on this one where you don't have to do none of that. None of that. You know? None of that! So, uh, let's go ahead. Um, let's see. Let's start. Where do you want to start? Let's start from the front. So, you know, we got our hazards. This is our hazards. We're... Boom, your headlights, one light in front, both lights, light front and back, which is daytime, you're not going to be able to see it. It's your parking brake, you got to have this on and off, which if you see, it come on the dashboard. Come on, see it over there on the dashboard right there? Go ahead, turn that off. Uh, we already talked about the horn, this is your speed for your bucket. Uh, got your own little cigarette lighter which whoever smokes that's the bath for you hey shout out to me shout out to me going too much strong no squares yeah best thing in the world yeah cool 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 all right let's get back to this little tutorial all right uh this is where your heat and your ac come out at heat and ac look we got two brakes here's one here's another one that's your gas pedal like a car uh this button right here is basically so when this is pulled down, you see how this pulls down? I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see here. Let's try to back it up a little. But when you push that, see how you push that? And this pulls back up, see? And, but then, you got this lever. You see this lever? You pull this lever, and then you see how it falls? This falls all the way down. Then you place it to wherever you want to place it. Then you go ahead with this lever, you lock it, just like so. Then this can still pull down in your position. But when you're ready to get out, you just take this little pedal right here, this right here. See it down there? Right, oh, oh, right there. Yep, right there. Hit that. And this goes back up. That's a cool thing. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Um, try to get y'all some light in here. We do got a radio. So you're not in here, just quiet. Authorities are investigating conspiracy theory. Don't want to get from copyright, so i to turn that off. Um, backup camera. This is a eight and a half inch camera. Uh oh, hold on, pause. Let me get out of here. All right, guys, man, had to get up out of the salt barn. You know, we got salt. I told you guys earlier, we're getting these delivered. We got like 300 ton coming, I guess. So we're gonna see. This is what I'll be doing. All right, guys, let's get back to this tutorial. Had a little pause. I showed y'all the little salt truck that came in. You know. We got salt. I gotta pick that up. But anyways, back to the tutorial. So the tutorial, all right, so where was I? All right, so back up here. So, you know, you got your your lights. Wait, see how they come on and off? I don't know if you can see them on the bucket. See them on the bucket? We got the salt pile. So we got lights. Um, I already showed you the brake pedals. I showed you back here. It's the cup holder, it's got seat belt. Uh, here's your armrest. This is where you put the jacket. Uh, you got a little binder or something that needs to be strapped down. You can get your little straps right here. Go ahead and strap your stuff down. You got your defroster. Uh, this is your lumbar. Your lumbar for your seat. Let's see what else we got. Let me hit this up. Let me stand up real quick. Has a whole good salt. Um, this is the cooler box. This is the cool thing about this cooler box. 
this is actually an AC cooler box that goes with that. Uh, this is the manual. It comes with this. Y'all don't got this, this is where they're supposed to come. Give me so much juice, you guys. You see it? This is where it's supposed to go. Um, we have all this. This is for, which we have it down there. I don't know if I can reach it. Let me see if I can reach it real quick. Hold on. Let me dig. Let me dig. Let me dig. Oh. Ah. All right. I got it. I got it. I got it. So it's this. That's what goes here. So this will lock in here like so. And then this tips up just like that. So if you ever get like flipped upside down and you need to get out and you can't get through your doors, you grab that and that's supposed to break your window. That's what it is. The window breaking. Um, it's the back. It's the back of the pajamas. Got your seatbelt. You know. Yeah, you know almost. Yeah, know almost. Hey, this thing is sweet. Look, it's got heated seats. Heated seats. This is to move the seat up and down. Uh, this part right here gets moved up and down. Okay. Then you got this that actually moves the seat back and forth. You see how it's moving back and forth? And then you got this one that's back here hiding that actually moves the whole seat. See how I'm moving the whole seat? So that's what this one does. And then again, this one only moves just the seat part. This is the part that you sit on. This moves the whole thing. So that's the pretty cool thing about that. This tells you if you're in the green or the clear. You know, it's got green on it. I don't know if you can see the green. But, uh, what else? Um, I already showed you the lights. Oh, let's go over here on these buttons, because that's what everybody's waiting for, for real, for real. Let's be honest. Everybody's not waiting for all that other stuff that I just showed. Everybody's got to wait on what's up with the joystick. So, this is how the joystick moves. And this is how the joystick operates. Um, hold on, I'll be right back. Let me show you. Alright, so this is a lot better. Now we all can see. So the joystick. You remember that thing I was trying to tell you guys earlier? What's the coolest feature about this thing that I think personally? So if you ever notice, alright, so let me see if I can just turn. You see how that says F right here? So this is F R. So if you notice, this is the shifter. Here, let's just show you real quick. Let me click this button off. All right, so this is what we do. We're gonna hit this in the middle. So if I hit this button, so now you see how it says L, forward, hit the gas pedal. See me the gas pedal? Now watch, I go forward. See that? Same thing, when we go backwards, hit this backwards, you go backwards. All right, so you're gonna see, I am coming backwards. And I'm moving backwards. All right, so this is why I say it's coolest. So either your choice, you can put it in reverse or you can put it in forward. But once you get like that, now you're not moving. So you're gonna come over here. You see this button? This is the FR button. You're gonna hit that. See how the little light came on? Now once that light came on, Once the light comes on, see, light on, off, light on, and we're going to come up here to the dashboard. You see what that says? That says FR. So what that means is, you see this square right here? Yeah, this button? This is pretty sweet. Now watch. We're going to take this button, we're going to push it forward. Flowers. Hey, any companies watching this video, y'all need to make this happen. So you see how I just hit that forward? Forward. Now watch this. Gas pedal. Oh snap. Now watch. I wanna go reverse. See? I'm dashboard. So I reverse. So you see, we're going backwards. Tell me, tell me. Alright, now we're in neutral. You see how it's moving? And all I'm doing is clicking. I'm just clicking, let's see if I can get this both in the same. So, pay attention right here. After I click the button right here. Watch, ready, set. Uh-oh, forward, 
Now you go forward. Uh, reverse. Now you go reverse. And you never have to take your hands off the steering wheel. Like, your hands will always stay right here. Always. And then this, this, same thing. So like I said, let's get into the joystick action. So, if you pull this back, the whole thing lifts up. You see how it lifted up? Alright, same thing. Now if you push it forward. So all I'm doing is pushing forward. The thing goes, woo, shake with it, rock with it. So, all the way back, clicks back, bump goes up. Now you push forward. Bucket goes down. Let's see if I can get it. See how it's going down? Now, if I take this and I push it this way, the, the bucket will tilt up. If I want the bucket to go down, you just basically take this and you push it away. Just like so. And the bucket goes down. And that's how that goes. Now, you can get attachments, obviously. There is attachments. And they would, we don't have a, there is a quick release, which I'll show you guys that in a second. But, uh, these are all for attachments. Anyway, you got one that is a horn. I think that's the back button. But if you look back here, you have two buttons back here. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one's the horn. You got a horn here, it goes, and then you got both of them beep. That's pretty cool. Once again, if you don't ever want to take your hand off this knob, you do everything right here from this joystick, which I love. Best effect. Best effect by far. Um, Alright, so let's get back into this. To be honest, I don't know what this is. Um, I've pushed it. I try to use it long up here. When I push it, try to do the saw, in my opinion, it makes the machine die down. It don't do nothing. I don't know what it's for. Hopefully somebody can comment down below and tell me what it's for. This pumps both wheels go back and forth. This basically gives you the power to put it in forward and reverse off the joystick. Um, this, same thing. It just locks all four tires together. This is how you get your bucket on or off. Let's see if I can show you. So if you push this, you have to push this down. All right, you see how this moves? See it moving? Okay. So if you push that down, and then you push this down, which I'm gonna show you out there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. All right, you see this bottom cup right there? That's where it's at. So if you push this, push this down. Oh, it came out already. See how that goes back? See now, it just locked the bucket. So now the bucket's locked in the place. I can't take the bucket off. Now if you want the bucket to come off, once again, you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna push this. See? Push down. And then you're gonna push this down. Push down and then down. Hey, watch. Ready? Now I can take the bucket off. Which I'm not going to because I need to push this off. But now the bucket's locked down there. We're gonna let that go. We're gonna zoom back out because hey, I couldn't even see it myself. Hey, my button's on fire. Let me turn this heat thing on. Hey, this stuff really does work. Let me tell you, this has to go off. Woo! Um, as far as the tutorial, um, I don't know what this is for. Same thing. It's two things. I don't know what this does. I think this is for an attachment, my honest opinion. Um, other than that, oh, this, this is the lock. So, you want to lock, so when this is in neutral, this got to be in neutral, and that has to be applied. You see a parking brake, that red thing right there where my finger's at, that's your parking brake, and then this is your gear shifter. So this has to be in neutral, that has to be applied, then this, obviously, See the arrows what it says. You pull out to unlock it. Then you let me turn this. You push this down. What's that engine do? It goes, it goes all the way down. 
and then you'll lock it. And then you won't be able to move this. I don't know. It makes you feel more freely, so you can't do this. All right, so that's basically the tutorial of the the 120 Hatashi. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. It's from Japan or China or something. Hey, but it be stacking. It be stacking though. So, yep. All right, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, I gotta get to work before I get yelled at. Y'all have a absolutely wonderful day. All right, bye.